I am the devil. Satan, Lucifer, Beelzebub. Here's my card. Ooh. The devil. Yep. Hello and welcome to this video, where we will be taking a look at collecting Imperial Guard for 2nd edition. The Imperial Guard are bolstered by a wealth of alternative miniatures, and have a unique army list built, which we shall now cover. In 2nd edition, Imperial Guard armies follow a rigid structure. For each command squad, up to 3 infantry or heavy weapon squads may be taken, and, for each of those squads taken, an additional unit, including normal infantry and heavy weapon squads, as well as ogrins or tanks etc., can be taken. Sentinels are bought in squadrons of 1 to 3, whilst each tank counts as a single additional unit. Chimeras are bought along with their units. Generally speaking, you shouldn't need more than one command squad per 1000 points. It is worth noting that for each support tank, such as Lehman Russes, Basilisks and Griffins, you add to the guard's special preliminary bombardment rule, to represent a behind-the-lines bombardment, before battle begins. Law-wise, although there are no rules within 2nd edition to cover regimental doctrines, unlike later editions, there is plenty of scope to do so, provided you adjust the points costs sensibly. An extra weapon skill for Krieg units at 2 points per model, for example. You could also make use of and expand the veteran skill list, and turn it into regimental doctrines instead, giving veteran guard squads a slight stat buff of plus one ballistic skill and leadership instead, for example. This would probably be the best way to sympathetically add them into 2nd edition. Imperial Guard have always been a pricier army to collect, on account of the number of models needed. Take this Cadian squad. At Wissiwig value this squad is 75 points in 9th edition, in 2nd edition, it is 116 points, a 35% increase. Chimeras are currently 75 points in 9th edition. In 2nd edition, they are 140 points, an 87% increase. This is without adding any veteran abilities or vehicle upgrades, change of weapons etc. For a larger example, here is the Cadian Defense Force, temporarily unavailable from Games Workshop, for £110. It consists of a command squad, two infantry squads, a heavy weapons squad, a Chimera and a Lehman Russ. Going by Wissiwig, it would be about 530 points in 9th edition. In 2nd edition, this is roughly 862 points, led by a captain, without any veteran upgrades, war gear or vehicle cards a 62.6% increase over 9th edition. You could probably stretch it to 1000 points. Before we look at miniature options it is worth noting vehicle design. A lot of tanks have been added over the years, including all the variants. To create a new tank, take the cost of the weapons away from the data facts, and that will give you a rough chassis cost, then add the cost of weapons to it. If a vehicle has a new weapon, not within 2nd edition, then approximate accordingly. So, a melter cannon would not be too dissimilar from a multi-melter, for example. The Dark Millennium rulebook has notes about this. There are certainly plenty of alternate Imperial Guard options. Games Workshop have created a demand, but have failed to supply. So, the market speaks. War Games Atlantic do a range of minis, with the less grognards, being popular as they are almost constantly sold out. At 24 minis to a box, you almost have enough for a command squad and two infantry squads, combined with the heavy weapon box, you have enough core units for a 500 to 600 point force. If you don't like the heads, then Anvil Industry, amongst others, do a wide variety. A lot of these alternatives are not strictly cheaper than GW, however. I have some experience with all the following lines, building and painting them, so I can attest to their quality. Anvil Industry have a massive range of resin miniatures and bits, and are well worth taking a look through, offering crazy amounts of customization. Victoria Miniatures also have a wide range of resin bits and units, which, although may take some work, are lovely models. I worked on a Valholan army for a client, and they looked great once all said and done. Next we have Wargam Exclusive, who offer a small range of not Krieg and numerous bits besides, including many female sculpts. Their resin is of superb quality, though their sculpts may not be for everyone. Artil W also offer a range of guard and inquisitorial related minis, bearing no resemblance to any black library characters whatsoever. If you have access to a 3D printer, then there are many infantry models and vehicles available, despite Games Workshop's best efforts to the contrary, as well as the usual suppliers on Etsy and eBay. Allegedly.
Overall, the Imperial Guard are one of the best armies to collect for 40k, thanks to the variety of options available. It's just a shame that Games Workshop haven't bothered to make plastic kits for each of the main regiments that the market clearly demands. And don't get me started with abandoning Rough Riders. The morons. That concludes our look into collecting Imperial Guard for 2nd edition. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and comment for more 2nd edition content. Praise be to the Omnissiah.